Dean Mary Elizabeth Moore, we are so grateful that you've joined us here at the Yale Youth Ministry Institute to present your lecture tomorrow, and we have this opportunity to chat a bit today. And I, I know as a dean of a major seminary, you have had an opportunity to give a great deal of thought uh, to the challenges that our churches are facing and the challenges our churches are facing uh, with respect to faith formation in our, in our youth. But the challenges are so broad. Picking what's important to focus on is a question of prioritizing with finite time and finite resources. Why is it important that we attend to our youth? First of all, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you very much. I, I love this question because I think youth are the, um, are the heartbeat of a community and of a society. And if you're not in touch with young people, you're not in touch with the society and you're not in touch with the local community. Um, the, the wisdom of young people is, is enormous. And just to sit and listen to young people over time is an education that everyone should have access to. That's one. Another is the vulnerability of young people also makes them susceptible and aware, physically aware and psychologically aware of the dangers in this world. Uh, they're the ones who are most often subject to violence in the streets. <clears throat> they're the ones whose lives are being um, placed in more jeopardy when, when government decisions strip, strip away the rights of immigrants and people who can't afford health care. They're the ones who feel the pressures of our society often first. So if we're not listening to and attending to young people, we can easily close that off. I don't want to oversimplify because a lot of elderly people and middle-aged people and young children are also experiencing these disasters and these concerns, but young people are often experiencing them viscerally and daily, and they are very articulate in describing them. Because young people are so easily ghettoized, um, then that means they are often not attended to. We get to eyes them in schools, in clubs, in all kind of organizations, in madly active lives. So middle and upper class young people often have so much to do that they're ghettoized into their stream of activities. And, and um, young people of, of many social classes and ethnicities are often ghettoized by whatever the ghettoization principles are in their own community. And where local churches, communities, and families pay attention to their young people, they are healthier, they're wiser, and they're better equipped to show love and build justice in our, in our local communities and in our larger world. 